All right, welcome back. Can't do much work over the past two days. I've been slowly getting the keel straight. Temporarily got braces and standoffs to hold the keel straight where I want it. I guess my next step is to start uh, tacking it in by spots with five glass with angel hair. It's hot out here today. See, I'm all sweaty. But I got a nice breeze blowing. Uh, and I'm going to be in the shade here all day. So I think I'm going to tack this in in a, quite a few spots, maybe 10 spots. Once it's all tacked in, then I guess I can release all my bracing. Start, start fiberglassing it in, it's pretty solid. I'm not worried about the holes I'm putting in the hull. That's all we get glassed over and taken care of. This is an important step. I mean, I really shouldn't be doing any work. But I'm working with one hand, taking my time, not getting in a bind. You know, just till my arm heals up. Doctor fussed me yesterday. He said I was doing too much. What, what do doctors know anyway, right? Yeah, but once I get that tacked up, I'm gonna come back and cut this board at an angle right here. I'm gonna leave me a notch when I fit the new piece in. It's gonna lock in. And I'm gonna glass. I'm gonna decide if I'm going to go to full length which means I got to move this eye from the inside there's a wall about a six inches back there's no access to get to back here which I have to access it anyway because it pulled out so something I'm not ready to do crawl in from the bottom Get my little oscillating saw crawl up in there and cut a hole to where I can pull the bolts for now I'm kind of using this eye so for right now what I'm going to do I'm going to make the keel come to about right here. I'm going to leave it about an inch, I guess. And let it meet up somewhere up here so I can cut my new curve. Once that's all glassed in, when the hull's finally flipped over, then I can remove the eye and I can finish glassing the rest of the way, all the way to the front. I think that's the route I'm going to take. And I may also try to make some cypress uh, strips to run all, all the way across the hull. Just for visual looks. Kind of give it a little bumper. But I mean, it's got a, the stock bumper system sticks out way further than the decorational piece I'm going to put. Like I said, that's going to come at a later time. Uh, right now the purpose is to get the keel in, get it all glass in and shaped, turn it over, go do a test ride, and uh, it'll probably be a while before I do the cabin to make this a mini tugboat. But this is a very important step. I'm trying to get the keel as straight as I can because uh, a buddy of mine, we've been talking for a while about making a mold of a haul and use this for a plug not this particular haul we wasn't talking about but since i got it may as well use this one for a plug to where we can make a 16 foot mold and then from the mold we can we can make another one another haul out of it and then modify it however we want it um, considering since it's going to be a tugboat round in the back put a round radius and go inboard uh, whether it's an outboard that's inboard or a traditional shaft and rudder with an in, uh, air-cooled inboard or a little diesel engine, you sacrifice cockpit room if you go inboard that route. If I go with outboard, um, I'm sure you've seen some boats, they have a box that's in here. From the other side, you drop an outboard in the box and you use a traditional outboard and you can hide the outboard under a rear deck. That's an option as well, but for now I'm focused on getting this keel. I want to get it as straight as possible. I'm going to do a lot of glass work over the next couple of weeks or a couple of months. You know, I may just glass it good enough just to go do my test rod. I got to build the trailer bunks to suit suit the hull, and then I may just get shelved for a little while. I think uh, this winter I may use it for camping because so, really the hull is ready to use, and you know until I've done this. But the interior is in good shape, and it's, uh, it could sleep two people. But uh, I'll be solo most of the time. Yeah, that's my plans. I stated I'm worrying about focusing on the keel. Get the keel straight, get it tacked in, and get it glassed in. Do my feeling, and then eventually go do a test rod. Thank you all for viewing this short, boring video. But I just figured I'd show you what I got going on. Uh, this Cypress board had a curve in it. So I put a strong back across, wedge it to try to get the curve out. Any other curves it has, it still has a few curves. 
I can take care of with the fiberglass. It's going to be hard to make a straight kill and do all the fair and the sanding to make it look perfect. So it won't look perfect right now, but when it comes time to make a mold, we're going to have to do the detail work and make it look perfect. Because uh, if there's a defect on this one, every hole you pull up, pull out of that mold is going to have a defect. That, that, that's another project. Maybe next year we'll start working on that. Thank you all for viewing.